Okay. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. Hi to the 20 people that are watching this technological disaster. <laughs> Thanks for being here. All right, let's do it. We're here. We're going to go. Welcome. My name is Rachel. We're here at Berkshire Yoga Dance and Fitness, and I'm going to live stream, technical difficulties and all, our Gentle Flow Yoga class. So since it's a little after and we want to go till 10, I want to get you guys right on your mat. So, um, <laughs> Shannon says we'll meet you at the lake. I will be outside. I'm much better in person. So hopefully if you guys have joined me online, I would love to see you outdoors. So stay tuned for that. We'll be um, on Mount Greylock and on the lake real soon. <laughs> and I'll keep being online, but some days are better than others. So come sit on your mats, then we'll get going. Thank you for your patience. Oh, you guys are awesome. I'll check in at the end. So come sit and we'll get started. All right, great. Here we go. All right. So coming into a comfortable seat, thanks for your patience. We'll drop right in so you can bring your hands to your lap and just take some time to find your seat. So to center yourself, to land. So just noticing how quickly you can drop out of whatever just happened in your morning before you arrived, whatever struggle there was for us to get together this morning, just letting that go and coming right into this place of ease and peace. So feeling the legs, rocking forward and back. And then we'll take a few letting go breaths to really settle in. So take a deep breath through the nose. Exhale a sigh. Yeah, do that twice more, breathe in. Let go. And one more time, deep breath. And let go. That's perfect. Breathe in through the nose, hold at the top. Through your nose, exhale, round your back, tuck your tail, scoop your belly, draw the navel in. Keep the breath out, keep the spine rounded. Take a deep inhale. And full exhale. As you inhale, float forward on the sit bones. Lift the belly, lift the heart, lift the chest, look up. Exhale, rounded back. So familiar warm-up for many of you that have been practicing with me. Inhale, rise up. It's always nice to get the body moving just a little bit before we sit still. And exhale, release. Just kind of working all the kinks out of the shoulders, the spine. And then sit up tall, take a big shoulder shrug up to the ears. Exhale, back and down, really feeling your shoulders this morning. Inhale, shoulders up. Exhale, release. And then one more time, big shoulder shrug. Get as much movement in the shoulders as you comfortably can. And then let that go. Let your palms open up so backs of hands are touching lap. And as you exhale, drop your chin. Breathe into the back of the neck, deep inhale. And full exhale. On your next inhale at the right ear, travel over to the right shoulder, open up the left side of the neck. And as you exhale, come back through center. And then let's go the other way. Bring the other ear to the other shoulder, open up the neck. And exhale through center. Take that one more time, each side, ear to shoulder. Back through center. And then one more time, ear to shoulder. And back through center. And your next in-breath, lift the head up. You can keep the eyes closed. Breathing out where you are and then taking in that deep, full, steady dirga breath, breathing into the lowest part of the belly the middle portion of the ribs, the upper section of the heart and chest. And exhale, let that go. Relax your chest, your ribs, your belly. So start to settle into stillness for a moment before we start to flow and move together. And just noticing this space of presence 
of connection to your body, your physical body, really feeling how you are today, how you feel in your body, the shape that the body is taking in space, places in the body that might need extra awareness or attention today, care, compassion. Really connecting to your own heart, the longings of your heart, whatever there is that may show up for you this morning that you want to set as an intention. So as we come off of this summer solstice weekend, it's a great time to set intentions, to let go of anything that's not serving you or that's holding you back or that you don't need anymore and move boldly and lovingly into this new season, carrying whatever it is that you do want to invite in or cultivate or strengthen. And even though we're in our own spaces today, practicing, feeling that collective energy, holding space and feeling connected to all those that are practicing with us right now. Raising our vibrations together to become more conscious, more awake, more kind, loving, compassionate towards ourselves, towards others, more peaceful, more present. Just taking another deep breath in. And full breath out. And then the next in-breath, bring the hands together in front of the heart. Let your palms meet in prayer position or Anjali Mudra. And you can bow your head to your heart. And then find your intention for today. So just holding that, whatever it is, however big or small it is for today. What do you need this morning? How can this practice help support you? And then on your next inhale, slide the hands to the ceiling, lengthen the arms, lift the face, and we'll bend our elbows today. So bring the elbows to the waist, spread the fingers wide, and bring the um, uh, shoulders down, palms forward, like goddess pose, but bigger. Inhale, lift the arms up like Tadasana, look through the hands, and exhale, you goddess the arms, but just pull them right into midline, like you're gonna draw all that energy in. And then one more time, inhale up, and exhale in and down. This time as we rise up, interlace your fingers, release your pointer, stretch the rib cage off the hips, and then stretch up and over to one side. You can turn your gaze up to the ceiling. Inhale through center, and exhale to the other side. Inhale through center, exhale, release the hands, drop your chin, interlace your fingers, and then open up the heart, press the fist down, squeeze the shoulders together, lift the chest, and exhale, release the gaze, release the hands, and roll the shoulders. Pressing into fingertips, lift the heart. If you want to take that hip opener, just press the hips forward, open up the psoas muscles, the hip crease, and exhale, release. Let's stay seated just for a moment longer, so put the other leg in front if you are cross-legged, or if you're kneeling, you can stay. If you get tired, just unwind one leg or both legs. Inhale the arms up. And as you breathe out, twist to either side, coming into a seated rotation. So bring one hand to the lap, other hand behind, sit up tall, look to the side or over the back shoulder, and then find a steady gaze, a focal point or dristy point, or close the eyes. So if we can have these still steady eyes, whether they're focusing on that dristy point or closed, that can help quiet our minds and help our minds settle down. I'm just feeling how you are experiencing this twist right now. How does this feel in your body? Where do you feel it? How does it feel? And then inhale, lift the arms, unwind. Exhale, twist the other way, same thing. So long, tall spine. It doesn't have to be a really big twist. Think more about sitting up as tall as possible and then rotating around that length that you created. Steady gaze or closed eyes. And 
Good. Inhale, unwind the arm, unwind the body, lift the arms, and then bring the hands behind one more time. Maybe interlace the fingers in that habitual way. So either other thumb or finger on top, and then press the fist down again. Squeeze the backs of the shoulders together. Spread the collarbones and lift the heart. Exhale, release. Hands and gaze. Roll the shoulders one more time. Press into fingers. You could either just take that heart opener or bring it right into the hips. Lift the belly, lift the pelvis and hips. And exhale, release. Come to all fours. You can come over the shins, or you could unwind the legs. We're going to come to tabletop. Bring the hands a little further forward to the shoulders and begin to circle the hips. Good. So if you're just tuning in, we're here for our gentle flow yoga class. Coming out of our centering and just working through our warm-up. Eventually, we'll come to... A standing sequence will flow through some postures together. And then when the hips come to the back, swing them the other way. Just warming up the hips, the back, the knees, the shoulders. Good. And then let's take our wide knee child. So bring the hips towards the heels, separate the knees, touch the big toes, stretch the spine long, and then find a little rock. So roll the forehead left to right. Roll right across the forehead, shift the hips. It's like you're rocking your child's pose. Good job. And then stretching out long, extending the arms. Pause here or bring the hands to prayer. You could also bend the elbows and let your prayer hands fall back to your head and take a few breaths. Good. Extend the arms to extended child's. Roll forward through cat. Bring the knees underneath the hips. Keep shifting forward so you get to this upward dog shape, but keep the knees on the ground. Open up the belly, the heart, the chest, maybe even lift the head up. And exhale, sink your hips towards your heels. And let's take that a couple more times. So roll forward through cat, rounded back all the way through. The head's the last to lift, so it's a slow wave or undulation through the spine. And tailbone brings you back. Head's the last to drop. A couple more times. You can move with your own pace of breath here. It could be faster or slower than mine. And when we get back, let's hold for a moment. So just stretch it back to child's one more time. Really breathing into the back body. Breathe into the low back. The middle back, the upper back. And exhale, release, upper back, middle back, and lower back. Bring your hands back underneath the shoulders. Press into your hands, roll up to sit on your heels. Let your head be the last thing to lift, and then come stand on your shins. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, open the arms, drop the chin. Touch your low back, fingers down, elbows back, and then lift the heart up. Open up the chest, the collarbones again. Look up. Exhale, release to tabletop. Let's take a couple rounds of cat-cow. So with hands and wrists underneath the shoulders, knees under hips, round your back, tuck the tail, scoop the belly, drop the head, breathe your breath out. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the tail, lift the heart. Look up. Exhale, round. Inhale through cow. Last time, exhale to curl. And inhale through cow. Start to lengthen from tail to head, just a regular tabletop. You have a choice to come to puppy or down dog. So just to demonstrate in case it's new for you, puppy, toes curl under, knees stay on the ground, arms extend, chest melts, and forehead or chin come to the mat. Elbows are off the ground, so it's a little more active than child's. Or if you feel like you want to make your way up to dog, which is a little more vigorous than um, puppy, hands come a little further forward to the shoulders, toes curl under, and then the knees float up and the hips stretch back. So similar in the back, but the legs are straight and the uh, knees are off the ground. And if you're in dog and you want to pedal out, go ahead and press one heel, press through the other heel. And as you do that, 
the opposite knee is bending. So you're pressing one heel down, opposite knee bends. Press the other heel down, straighten that leg, and the opposite knee bends. Walking your dog. Good. And if you're in dog, let's come to stillness. Feet are hip width, hands are shoulder width. Take a bent knee down dog, so bend the knees and pull the hips back. If you're in puppy, stay. You're doing great. Keep breathing. And then we're all going to come to forward fold. So step your feet to your hands or your hands to your feet or come to stand up on your two feet if you are in puppy. Feet hip width, shake it yes with the head up and down. Shake no left to right. And then let the shoulders hang towards the ears. Take a couple shoulder rolls up, back, and down. Good. And then let the shoulders and arms relax. Bend the knees. And roll on up. Head's the last to lift. Arms relax at the top. Just fly the arms up. Breathe in, lift up. Exhale, hands through prayer. Eyes can close. And then come back to that intention you might have set in the beginning of class. What do you want to invite in today? How do you want to feel today? How do you want to lead forward in this new season? Take a deep breath in. And exhale, release. Another sun breath. We'll interlace our fingers and release our pointer just like we did seated. Stretch up and over to one side. Bump the hip away. Coming into standing half moon, Ardha Chandrasana. Inhale through center. Exhale up and over the other way. Inhale through center. Exhale, release your hands behind. Drop your chin. Interlace your fingers just like we did seated. Press the fist down. Squeeze the shoulders together. Open up the heart. Look up. And then take your skier pose. So bend the knees, bend the hips, and lengthen the spine. So there's no sway back. The tailbone is in line with the head. The neck is long. Fingers are interlaced and arms are really straight. Or if it's too intense to interlace your fingers, hold your hips. So legs are in Utkatasana, you're either holding your hips or your fingers are interlaced like skier pose. Take a deep breath and full breath out. You can stay or straighten the legs and start to take a forward fold. Again, holding hips or fingers interlaced, arms could fall away from the head. So now you're in standing yoga mudra. If you'd like to be, couple breaths into shoulders and backs of legs here. Good. Back to skier pose if you left. Bend the knees, bend the hips, lift the upper body, lengthen the spine. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, release the hands, stand up, Tadasana, arms frame the head. And then bend your knees to swan dive. So open the arms, bend the knees, come all the way through. At the bottom, straighten everything out. So bring your hands up to your legs, straighten your legs, straighten your back. So you're in a flat back, Ardha Uttanasana. And then melt, exhale, relax. Inhale, reverse swan dive, fly up. Exhale, hands through prayer, close the eyes. And take a moment to land in the body, in the space again. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, release your arms. Take one more sun breath. As you exhale, catch your hips. Stay standing and walk to the top of your mat. You'll stand on the left and send the right leg back to a high lunge. So different than warrior one, right? You're on the ball of the back foot. It's your crescent lunge, your high lunge. Lift the arms to frame the head. You're going to hold here. Take a deep inhale. As you exhale, turn the palms forward. Bend the back knee and press the air down. Like you just hover here. Arms come alongside the body. Both knees are bent. And now we're going to come up. So open the arms. Straighten the legs. Press the air up above the head. Exhale. Bend both knees. Press the arms through. Inhale. Rise up. Legs straight and arms lift. And one more time. Exhale. Come through. Inhale. Straighten arms lift. You're going to stay here. And as you breathe out, just take a moment to find that high lunge again. However deep you want to be in that posture. Take a deep breath in. And full breath out. On an inhale, straighten the front leg. And exhale, move into warrior two. Spin the back heel down. 
rearrange the legs. Take a deep inhale here and full exhale. On an in-breath, reverse triangle, straighten the legs, bring the back hand to the back leg, lift the top arm, look up, and we'll come to side angle today. So bend the front knee, bend the front elbow, bring the forearm to the thigh, and stretch the top arm above your head. Do that twice more, inhale up. Exhale, release. And one more time, inhale up. Exhale, release. Hold the bottom and side angle. Pause here. Gaze can be up to the ceiling. Take a deep breath in. As you breathe out, half bind. Wrap the top arm behind your back. Turn the thumb down, bend the elbow. Let the back of the hand touch your back or come into your hip crease. And now turn your face down. So bring your chin down. Look at your big toe. Look at the ground. Keep rolling the chest and shoulder up. Let the face down. So feeling a really big stretch in the hips and also opening that top shoulder, building strength and balance. Holding here, breathing here. Arm that's bound behind, stretch it above the ear one more time, and we'll find one last reverse triangle. So come on, stand up, straighten the legs, dance it back. And then open arm, shoulder height, turn toes forward, heels back. We're gonna set up for goddess. So narrow your stance a little bit, wiggle the feet in, just a few inches and bring the heels in and the toes out. So turned out feet. Lift the arms where the wall would meet the ceiling like a five pointed star and then bend the knees, bend the hips and sit into goddess. So you want the knees right above the ankles about. And then take a little rock, really feeling the hips and take a moment to pause, hold. Come in and out of this in five pointed star. Inhale, straighten the legs, lengthen. Exhale, bend the knees and the elbows and sit. Again, inhale up, so really strengthening those legs and inner thighs. Exhale, sit. And last time, we're going to stay in a moment. Inhale up. Exhale, sit and hold. Deep breath here. And full breath out. Bring your hands to the tops of the thighs. Take another little rock. Good. And then pause and center, rotating. Drop the um, left shoulder and just take a little twist. Get back down into the hips. Keep the knees open so they're above the ankles. And then inhale, unravel a little bit. And then sink into the other side. Take a breath. Good. Inhale, unravel a little bit. Turn the toes forward, the heels um, back. Bend the knees. Hands are still on the thighs and then roll yourself up. And at the top, a big sun breath, lift up. Exhale, open, shoulder height. Wiggle the feet so they're back underneath the wrist. You have that wide-legged stance. We can come back to warrior two, spin the front foot forward, bend the front knee, the original front foot, so you're facing the same way you were before. Take a deep breath in, and then slow cartwheel to get to the ground. One arm, other arm, pivot on the ball of the back foot and hold. Let's revolve here. So press into the right hand or fingertips are blocked and take a twist. Just ring the spine out again. Twist towards that front bend knee. Breathe here. Take another deep in breath. And as you exhale, release the front hand, wiggle the left foot further to the left and bring the left hand inside. So we're coming inside that foot to a knee down lizard lunge. So the legs are wider than they were before. Your hands could be up on blocks or they could be on the ground. And then if you wanna get deeper, you could come onto the forearms and interlace the fingers. You could do this on the blocks or on the ground, back toes curled under or uncurled. Breathing into the hips. Good. Let's come back up onto the hands if you landed on the forearms. Come out of the hips a little so you can take some weight off of that front foot and then just sweep it around to meet the back leg. Let the big toes touch wide and the knees sink back to child. If you had blocks, you could move them away and just stretch the hips back. 
Let the arms extend, press the palms to prayer. If that feels okay, bend the elbows and fold your hands back to the head so you get that big stretch for the triceps and the upper back. Extend the arms forward. Roll through cat pose, knees underneath hips, come all the way onto your belly. Have your hands back underneath the shoulders by the chest and inhale to cobra. Lift the heart, lift the chest, point the elbows back, slide the shoulders down. It could be baby cobra, medium cobra, full cobra. Exhale, release to your belly. Press up and back to tabletop. And choose again to either be in puppy, toes curled under, walk it out, or dog. So your choice. So either rest in this puppy pose, or you'll pick your knees up and stretch the hips back to dog. I'm going to take my pose up to dog right now, but you can stay in puppy if you want. So a couple breaths. If you're in dog and you want to walk the dog, go ahead and do that. Pressing one heel, bending opposite knee. Pressing other heel, bending other knee. It's working through the legs. Good. And then be still for a few moments, whether you're in puppy or dog, finding your full expression of the pose. Step feet to hands or hands to feet. Come to stand. Hip width distance in Uttanasana, forward fold. Give a head shake, yes. Give a head shake, no. This time, grab a hold of opposite elbows, so you're in ragdoll, and take a moment to just sway. And if being upside down is uncomfortable, you could always take a flat back. You could bring your hands to your shins or your thighs to be in the Ardha Uttanasana or half forward fold that we've practiced before. Good job. And then pausing here, let the hands come off of the elbows, bend the knees, roll yourself up one vertebrae at a time, eventually coming to stand, and then inhale, lift your arms. Exhale, slide your hands through prayer, close your eyes, come back to your heart and your intention, breathe that in. Exhale, release your arms. Sun breath, inhale, interlace fingers, release pointer. Stretch up and over to one side, standing half moon, Ardha Chandrasana, doesn't matter which way. Inhale through center, just getting that side stretch, opening the ribs and the waist. Come through center. Exhale, release hands behind, drop the chin, interlace fingers, press the fist down, open your heart, slide the tail down, look up. And as you breathe out, sit into Utkatasana, skier pose variation with the spine long and the fingers interlaced. Again, we're here, long flat back, take a deep inhale. As you exhale, stay or standing yoga mudra, you could start to straighten the legs and take a fold. Other option, in case you missed it on the other side, you could hold your hips instead of having interlaced fingers. You breath. Good job. Bend the knees, bend the hips, lift your chest up, press the fist down, long diagonal line from tail to head. Deep breath in. As you exhale, release the hands, toss that up in the air, Tadasana. And exhale, bend the knees, swan dive. Inhale, straight legs, straight arms, hands come to shins, Ardha Uttanasana, stretch it out. Exhale, melt over bent knees, deep fold, and fly up, reverse swan dive. Inhale. Hands through prayer, exhale. Stand up tall, deep in breath. And exhale, release the arms. Take another sun breath. Breathe in, stay standing. Exhale, open the arms, catch the hips, and walk to the top of the mat. Stand on the right foot, left leg skates back to high lunge, crescent lunge, front knee bent, back leg straight. Inhale, arms lift. Deep breath in. Exhale, palms press forward, back knee bends. You hover here. 
And then inhale, rise up, straighten arms, straighten legs, lift up, find your balance, press down and through. Inhale, out and up. And exhale, down and through. Inhale, out and up, stay at the top. And as you exhale, bend the front knee, keep the back leg straight. Take a deep in breath and full out breath. As you inhale, straighten the front leg. Exhale, open up warrior two, back heel spins down. Range the feet, heel, lined up with arch of back foot. Hold here, look out of, over front fingertips. On an inhale, reverse triangle, straighten the front leg, dance back and look. Exhale, side angle, knee bends, elbow bends, forearm to thigh, big stretch of that top arm above the head. Again, inhale up. Exhale, release. Last time, inhale up. And exhale, release. Hold there, deep breath in. As you breathe out, half bind. Thumb turns down, elbow bends, back a hand to hip or slide it right into the hip crease and then turn your face down. Look towards the big toe. Feel that internal spiral of the shoulder and chest rolling up and the chin and face rolling down. Steady gaze or focal point. Breathe into any area of the body where you're feeling the most sensation. Arm that's wrapped behind, above the ear again, side angle. One more time, reverse triangle to give a little break. Straighten the legs and then open that side body. Inhale, arm shoulder height. Exhale, toes forward, heels back, wide in your stance. This time we'll have our wrist above the ankles and take a sun breath. As you breathe out, swan dive, either to a half forward fold where you catch the legs and hold in tabletop or all the way down. Your choice. And then take any variation you like here. So you might want to nod the head yes, or shake it no. You might want to hold opposite elbow. You could stretch out like dog. You could reach through, take a hold of the feet, ankles or toes. You could take rotation. So whatever you want to do, bend one knee, bend the other knee. Just take some time to find your way into this fold and to move or not move in any way that would feel good. Just as if this was your own practice, not being led, whatever the body wants to do. Good, if you're moving, eventually kind of find stillness or a neutral place. Let's bring our hands back underneath the shoulders or to the legs. If you're in that flat back, bend the knees. Bring your hands to your thighs, fingers and elbows out, and then press off the thighs to lengthen up, to stand. Sun breath, inhale. Exhale, arm shoulder height. You're doing great. We're almost done with a standing flow. Turn the front foot forward. Bend the front knee, warrior two, Virabhadrasana two. Turn the face over the front fingers. Deep breath in. As you exhale, cartwheel down one arm, the other arm. Pivot on the ball of the back foot and drop the back knee. So we're back to that knee down lunge. Feeling the hand, the um, psoas muscle, the hip flexor, the front of the left quadricep or the back quadricep and hip. Stay here or wiggle the front foot out to the side and move that outside arm in. So you're in lizard lunge on hands or blocks. Remember that option where you could drop to your forearms and you could do that on blocks or the ground. If you're on forearms, come up. And then everybody come out of your hips enough so you can unweight the front foot and swing it back. Big toes touch, knees separate, and let's stretch back. So sink the hips, stretch the arms. And for some of us, our child's pose, our hips might be high in the air, that's totally fine. Whatever it looks like, hips back towards heels, whether you're sitting on heels or not, arms extend. 
And if you want the prayer variation, touch your palms together. Bend the elbows and fold the forearms back to your head. Couple breaths. Extend the arms forward. Roll through tabletop. Bring the knees back underneath the hips. Keep rolling until you get to your belly. And this time, let's make a pillow for our head. Stack your palms or fists. Drop the head. Bend the knees, toes up, and just take a windshield wiper left to right. Start to circle the shins one way in one direction. Start to circle your shins the other way, other direction. And let your legs come long. Stack your palms, turn onto the right side of the face. Bring your left knee out to the side to half frog. So you're going to bring it right up about hip height. The shin could be parallel to the side, and the eyes can close. And you'll just take a moment to rest belly down here. Really feel the rhythm of the heart again. How has that changed now that your um, body's been moving and you've been increasing that vitality and maybe the heart has quickened or the breath has quickened and just noticing how your body is after you've been moving around for the past 40 minutes or so together. Take another deep breath in. As you exhale, slide the bent leg down to meet the straight leg. You're going to switch sides, so turn onto the other side of your face and bring the other knee out to half frog. You can either stay on that side of the face or come to the forehead or turn the head away, wherever you feel good, but half frog on the other side. A few breaths. So we're starting to wind down. We're starting to move towards this state of greater relaxation and ease. So you did the work. You breathed, you stretched, you strengthened, you balanced. And now we're beginning to rest become more passive in our practice and send the message to our bodies and our minds and our hearts that it's coming to be time to relax, to settle and surrender. Take another deep breath in. As you exhale, release the bent leg down to meet the straight leg. Let's come to one last child's pose, so bring the hands under the shoulders and press it back. And this time, maybe keep the knees hip width, let the belly be on the thighs, and take the arms alongside the body. So it'll just be a different sensation than that wide knee child's pose we've been practicing with arms extended. If that feels better, feel free to go back there. Or if this is a welcome change, you can stay here. Take a couple breaths. Bring your hands under your shoulders. Press into your hands. Roll up to sit on your heels. Send the hips off to the side. Swing the legs around to the front. And let's bring the soles of the feet together and the knees apart so you're in bound angle or Baddha Konasana. You could hold the feet or the ankles. Maybe take a little rock to kind of come into the hips. And then when you're ready, sit up nice and tall. And just close the eyes here for a moment. 
Feel the strength and length and power in the spine. Feeling truly aligned here in your body, your mind, your heart, and your spirit. Stepping into this place of the truest, highest version of yourself, the most aligned, present version of yourself. Just noticing how that feels. Take another deep breath in. As you exhale, hinge forward at the hips. You could come just a couple inches or all the way to a deep fold. Keep holding the ankles or move the hands to the feet. Keep the back flat or straight or round the spine to forward fold. So find something that feels good on your body and stay for a couple breaths. Good, lengthen the spine, press the head away from the tail. Take a hold of your ankles, just a little heart opener here. Reach the heart up through the arms, press it up to the sky, lift the feet. Breathe in. And relax, drop the chin, slide the hands along the shins, gather the knees up into the hands and bring the legs back towards each other. I'm gonna scooch up towards the top of the mat, we're gonna come to lie down. We'll do a little bit of work on the mat before we come to rest in Shavasana. So lift the arms up. And then exhale, slowly lower. Tuck the tail, scoop the belly, come all the way onto your back. And when you get down, take your big stretch. Legs forward, arms away. Stretch the waist, the belly, the armpits, the chest. And gather the knees up into the belly. Hold the knees or the shins or wrap the arms around the legs and take a rock. Bring your hands onto your knees and circle the knees one way. Good. And then circle the knees the other way. With the knees into the belly um, and the hands on tops of the knees, open the knees again, just like you did seated. Bring the hands along the shins. Take a hold of the ankles, tops of feet, or outer edges of feet, just like we did seated. Open the knees apart, lengthen the spine long, and just pause and breathe. Feel all that length and space in your back that you're creating. Feel that gentle stretch in the hips the groin, the inner thighs, the leg. Soften the muscles in the face, across the forehead and the eyes and the jaw. Stay here or come to happy baby. Flex the feet up to the ceiling, ankles above the knees. Maybe take a little rock. And then be still for a moment. Bring your feet back together. Knees are wide apart. Hands come back to knees. Knees come back together. Feet to the mat. Arms out to T. Cross the right leg over the left. Inner thighs touch. And let's come right into our twist. Press into the left foot. Scoot your hips to the right. You're more on the left hip. Knees come to the left and head turns to the right. If it's too much, unwind your legs and just stack the top leg on top of the bottom without crossing. Feel the shoulders get heavy and melt down towards the earth. Notice if you're still holding tension anywhere in the body, in the leg, the arm, the belly, face. Could you let go? Could you let that go? Release whatever you're holding on to. And feel how that creates more space and ease. Good. 
Bring the knees back through center. Press into the bottom foot to shift the hips back and unwind the legs. And we'll go right to the other side, left leg on top of right, inner thighs touch. Press into the bottom foot, scooch the hips to the left. You're more on the right hip. Knees come to the right. Head turns to the left. And pause and breathe. And then bring the head through center, bring the knees through center, press into the bottom foot, shift the hips back, unwind the legs, and take a moment to move however you want right now. So stretch the body out, hug the body in, take any closing postures of stillness or movement that you want. And then you're going to come to rest. So once you've moved or not moved in any way that would feel good, just come to Shavasana in your own time. Let the legs stretch out long. Let the arms stretch out long. Turn your palms open to the ceiling. Close your eyes. Let the body drop. Let your mind settle any thoughts, ideas, plans, memories. Just let them settle down like snow inside of a shaken snow globe. Just feeling that all drift down. Everything starts to settle. Your body, your mind, your breath. Feel that space across the forehead between the eyes soften as if there's a single point between the eyebrows, that third eye or place of intuition. And right from there, feel this warm golden light spread across the forehead, the face, the eyes, the jaw mouth, the crown of the head, the back of the head, the neck. That golden light streaming all the way down the body into the chest and heart. Across the shoulder blades and collarbones. Through the upper arms and lower arms. Streaming and shining out the hands, the belly and the heart. Traveling around the hips and pelvis and low back. Down the upper legs and lower legs. Shining out of the bottoms of the feet and the tips of the toes. Feel your upper body relax even more. And your lower body relax even more. Feel your whole body relaxed at peace and ease. And you're welcome to stay in Shavasana for as long as you'd like. Without moving the body, just notice the shape your body's taking. 
Notice what's touching the ground or mat and what's open to the space around you. If you'd like to come out with me, just begin to become aware of those outer edges of the body. And if you want to, you could bring movement into the body however you'd like. Only when you're ready. And if you want, you can come to either side. Otherwise, stay in Shavasana a little longer if you'd rather. You can come in fetal pose and just pause. Use your top arm to press the ground away. Come on up to seated. You can come to cross legs. Just be here for a moment. Let the backs of the hands touch the lap. Palms open to the ceiling. Sit up tall. Feel your body in space again. Notice any difference or shift or change in your body, in your mind, or in your heart from now and when we first began together. Take a deep breath in. And full breath out. On your next inhale, bring your hands to prayer position. Anjali mudra, palms meet in front of the heart. And as you exhale, bow your head to yourself. Back to any intention that you set for today, for this practice, or for this coming season. And holding that in your heart will seal our intentions in with that collective sound of OM, sound of community, joining our voices together, even from afar, feeling that vibration from one another, even though we're not in the same physical space. We'll start with a letting go breath. Take a deep inhale through your nose. Exhale a sigh. And we'll begin. Deep breath in. Ah. And as your head bows back to yourself, taking one last moment to honor the divinity and the light that shine within you. Namaste. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for practicing with me. Have a beautiful day and a great week and an awesome summer. Um, I can't wait to keep practicing with you. So whether it's online or outdoors or eventually in studio. So um, it's a pleasure to be able to do this. And thank you guys again for all your support um, and all your encouragement and even with these bumps in the road. <laughs> Loretta, thank you for joining us. Thank you for the feedback. I really appreciate that. From Isla, oh, my daughter, my three-year-old daughter's at home sending emojis. <laughs> Hi, Isla. Hi, sweetie. I love you. Mommy, can't wait to see you in a little bit. Thanks, Helen. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. This is awesome. You guys, I really appreciate it. You guys are the best. So stay tuned. I mentioned um, earlier this week, I'm in the process of getting the word out to everybody about our outdoor classes um, and what that will look like. I'll be teaching on Mount Greylock um, on the first and now the third Sunday of the month. So there's going to be bonus Mount Greylock classes. Usually it's once a month, but I'll do two a month for July, August, and September. Um, I'll do two a month on Anoda Lake. So I'll be at Burbank Park on Saturdays, um, the second and fourth Saturday. So I'll get that word out to you too. Thank you, Lynn. Thank you, Joanne. Thank you, Betsy. Thank you, Robbie. Thank you, Sarah, Teresa. It's so awesome to have all you guys here, all you familiar faces and new faces. It's been such a cool experience to practice with you in the virtual world. So um, keep an eye on your inbox. We'll send out an email this week. Um, also on Facebook, we'll post. So I'll keep streaming this summer. I'm definitely going to be doing Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 9, um, and probably our candlelight class too. Leah, thank you. Oh, it's so good to see you. Um, I'm so glad you found us online and could join us. Yeah, we're super excited for it to be outside. So um, stay tuned for that. And in addition to the classes that I mentioned that I'll be teaching, we are in the 
final stages of getting approval for a bunch of classes that are going to be happening in the city parks with our other um, BYDF instructors. So boot camp, bar, uh, yoga at Springside Park, um, Tai Chi. There's lots of cool things happening. So stay tuned. We've got lots more to come. So I'll see you guys next time. I'll be back um, tomorrow night, Tuesday, for Zumba at 6.30. It's on Zoom. You can get the link for that on our Facebook events or on our calendar. And then we'll be doing a gentle, moderate flow class, which is like this, but just we kind of kick it up a notch on Wednesday at 9. So tune in again. And until then, have a great day and enjoy this beautiful weather. Um, I'll talk to you guys soon. Can we join from afar in the fall to keep streaming? That's a great question, Loretta. Yes, absolutely. It, that is my plan to do that. Um, for all of you guys that filled out the survey that I sent, a lot of people want um, like hybrid classes where when we come in to do in-person class, there will be an option to live stream. Um, I just have to work out the technology for that, but I'm thinking it'll probably be on Zoom. So you'll have an option when we do open in the fall, hopefully, to either sign up to pre-register and come to like limited class size in studio, um, or sign up for the virtual option where you can watch it live as I'm teaching. Um, and there may be a way that you could get the recording too. So even if you can't come live, you can keep the recording, I'm hoping. So working out um, the details on that, but absolutely, I think it's been so good for all of us. I love seeing that there's uh, many of you that don't live around here anymore that used to practice here or would come into the summer but can't come this year for whatever reason. So it's so cool to be able to still connect with you guys. So yes, there will certainly be some sort of a virtual option. So thank you for asking that, it's a great question. So yeah, keep letting me know what you guys wanna do and we'll figure this out together, okay? So thanks, have a great day, and um, I'll talk to you again real, real soon. Feel free to send me a message anytime or a comment, and I'll get back to you guys. So take care. Lots of love to you. Have a great day.